Hello and welcome back to our series of video covering some special timepieces put on auction by Philips Bax and Russo on Saturday the 3rd or to 12th, sorry, and Sunday the 13th of May here in Geneva. In this video, we'll mainly talk about some watches that have belonged to some rather famous personalities and or are put on sale for a charitable cause. Listen to this. Elvis Presley's Omega, Robert Downey Jr.'s Uhrwerk, and a very special A Lange in Zöne. Let's go. On this tray here, we have three very special watches. They're special not just because they're amazing watches, but whether it's their history um, linked to a celebrity or the purpose um, for which the funds will be used after the auction is worth mentioning. I'm sure you've already heard on social media and in the press that Philips is going to offer Elvis Presley's Omega in white gold. It's not just another watch by Elvis Presley. This is, to many, the most important Elvis Presley watch known to exist. It's a watch that he received from RCA Victor on the occasion on Christmas Day 1960 when they sold 75 million records. That is amazing. I mean, you and I would wish we had 75 million followers. Um, he sold 75 million records in December 1960. And a few weeks later, early 1961, they celebrated this event. And this is when Elvis was presented by RCA Victor with this white gold Omega with diamond bezel, retailed by Tiffany, the most famous uh, jeweler in the United States. And the watch was then on Elvis's wrist. There's pictures showing him at this event performing on stage with the watch on his wrist. And shortly after, Elvis is seated at a table seeing a Hamilton on somebody else's wrist and says, cool watch you have. And the gentleman says, mm, thank you, sir. Yours is nice too. And Elvis says, wanna trade? And they traded watches. So this is how the family of the current owner got to Elvis's Omega, uh, rebuilt by Tiffany, uh, that Elvis received on such an important uh, occasion. Um, and Elvis got a Hamilton that I don't know where it is today. This watch has never been offered at auction before and is to Elvis and Omega collectors a hugely important watch. Interest is coming from all over the world. Uh, certainly Omega fans, collectors, but equally fans who really want this piece of Elvis history. Not just a watch of a friend or a fan, but a watch that marked one of the most significant moments in his career. The watch carries a pre-auction estimate that I think is very conservative of 50 to 100,000 francs. And um, it will go on Saturday evening uh, uh, as the last lot of the evening auction uh, up for sale. Uh, we still have a few days to go and interest so far around the world on the traveling exhibition and especially in Los Angeles has been amazing. I mentioned before that um, we have some remarkable watches in this weekend's auction where the consigners have pledged to give the proceeds to charity. One of them is a Urwerk. A Urwerk uh, 110 PG Torpedo, uh, definitely one of the most avant-garde, uh, daring, modern designs of any brand, including within Urwerk's production. It's, 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 it's uh, mind-boggling. And it's close to mint, but not quite mint. Now, why is that? Well, because somebody's wa worn the watch. Who's worn the watch? Robert Downey Jr., who is himself a fan of Urwerk. And when and where did he wear it? He wore it for the filming of Spider-Man Homecoming. You see, it's got a little mark here, so probably Spider-Man, um, uh, the, the set on, on Spider-Man, it got sometimes rough. And so in a nutshell, this watch now here is offered to help children, orphans in need in Haiti um, and I think it's just wonderful when you can combine 
so many good things at once. Buy an amazing piece without the history of the watch. It's an amazing watch. Have a conversation piece that has belonged to a celebrity like uh, the Elvis watch before. And you know that the more you spend, the more children uh, can benefit. Um, I, I'm quite touched and, 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 and pleased that this watch is uh, with us uh, in, in this uh, season's auction. And certainly, again, a watch that we have already heard about. It was uh, announced um, uh, at the SIHH that Langen Söhne made exactly a year after the sad passing of Walter Lange, the man who brought back Langen Söhne to where he always felt it should be, with a watch that the watchmakers and the management of Langen Söhne made to honor the late Walter Lange. Walter Lange always had a dream, which was to make a wristwatch with a caliber, with a function that would do exactly the same as the famous patent that his grandfather invented, which is a jumping seconds. Have a look at the second hands. It seems like a quartz watch it jumps. That can be stopped with this button. And of course, the constant seconds and the watch continue to run. It seems that he drove the management regularly quite mad with his suggestion, why don't we make one? Because seemingly all the studies, they made commercial studies, it was clearly not um, a priority and possibly not even worth to do the R&D, the development of a hugely complex movement um, without probably a big market to begin with. But it seems that within days following SIHH last year and the passing of Walter Lange, it was decided that eventually to honor him, this caliber should be made. So Langen Söhne made a very limited edition in yellow gold, pink gold and white gold, uh, all with specific limited production numbers that are relevant to Walter Lange's life. And they made one stainless steel example. You and I know stainless steel Langen Söhne's are so rare that those very few pieces that ever make it to the collector markers are uh, hunted uh, as fiercely uh, as, as, as possibly any contemporary watch. And to make it even more exciting, Langen Söhne added a black enamel dial to that watch. Quite remarkable. This watch will benefit Children Action, a Swiss-based charity um, to help children, be it on a medical level or when it comes to education. And once again, I'm to all those who participate in the auction and to those who donate those watches, truly um, very um, humbled that they do such a fine gesture. Thanks for watching and see you real soon for some other crazy timepieces. pieces.